Alright, what's going on guys? My name is Dia, and welcome back to a brand new video. Finally, I've been able to get my hands on the Black Ops 6 beta. I am super excited for this game. I, as you can see, I'm already level 20. I played a shit ton last night. I got back from my trip, and I promised the video on Sunday, and I'm really sorry that I didn't release one. However, I got back from my trip, worn out, super tired. I spent the entire day unpacking, like, talking to family about some, just overall, super tired. So, I'm sorry for not releasing a video like I said I would. I'm back. I, that, that is, like, the last bit of vacation, in quotes, that I've taking until around Christmas time because obviously I'll have Thanksgiving off and stuff like that. I'll create a video obviously for Thanksgiving. However, in terms of like taking a vacation from like work or anything like that, I take the week between Christmas and New Year's off every single year, spend time with family, play some games, have a chill end to my year and get ready for the new year. And it kind of gives me a, a time as well to kind of just sit there and go, you know what? I'm gonna set myself up correctly for the next year, next year being 2025. So if you guys are enjoying Black Ops 6 and want to see more, make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video. I upload as much as possible. I try to upload daily and yeah get into it. Literally, as of about 10 seconds ago, they released a brand new playlist. They've done a bunch of patches for this game, and I don't really know what they're about. However, they have released a playlist called the new face-off playlist. So they had this in Cold War, where it was no streaks, just straight 6v6 gunfights, just go. And I actually really, really, really liked it in Cold War. So I'm gonna go ahead and just see if anyone's playing this. Like I said, this was a release probably, what, I've been recording for two minutes, so maybe three minutes ago. I don't think we'll find any matches in here, but we can always look. Holy shit, we found a game. So we we got Gala Kill Confirmed. So yeah, there's Kill Confirmed and Team Deathmatch in this mode. I'm ooh, this this Call of Duty to me it feels really really good. These are kind of the classes I'm running with. I have an Ames at 21, C9 at 19. I have the Sniper at 9, I have the Jackal at 16, the XM4 at 15, and the AK at 21. I, I'm trying my best not to just use the same thing every game. However, I, like, I'm just having fun with all of the automatic weapons. Sniping is really hard for me in this game. I'm sure it's hard for other people as well, but for me especially, I'm struggling really, really bad. Yeah, I just, I'm having a blast with this beta. Like, I really am. I literally fell asleep last night because I was playing it and just having fun. I am playing on controller, so I have I have been playing like on a model for three with a mouse and keyboard. I've stopped doing that because for starters, I think mouse and keyboard is absolutely fucked. Like I want to have fun when I play this game and I don't think I'm gonna have fun playing mouse and keyboard, but that isn't to say that like, I'll never be going like back to it. Yeah, I, I will be going back to playing mouse and keyboard probably at some point, but I just, I don't know. I'm having a lot of fun playing on controller. I actually don't feel like I'm swinging the Titanic left, right and center. I don't know, I'm just, I'm having fun. I want to take this time to kind of talk about some of the things I really like with the beta and some of the things I don't. Because I'm not gonna lie, it's a, it, I, I'm not gonna lie, no game is perfect. No Call of Duty has ever been perfect. And if someone is sitting there telling you that there was a perfect Call of Duty, they're lying to you. They're just straight up lying. And the first thing by far I want to say is, is the community around this game. Like the community, I just don't know what it is. People don't stop complaining. I don't know how, like what it's going to take for these guys to not complain. Like I, I've literally gone out of my way to not look at people's stuff that I would look at from time to time because like they just sit there and they're like they talk about only the bad like if you're not gonna sit there and talk about the bad or the good and the bad with the game like or how you would fix the bad then you shouldn't be saying it like for example like some people think the ttk is too too quick and if you think the ttk is too quick don't just sit there and be like oh the, t the time to kill is dog shit it's fucking horrible like if you're just gonna sit there and bitch no one cares like nobody gives a shit if you like if you're just gonna sit there and complain but if you like for example i also think the time to kill is a bit quick now we have been on 150 health cod for a while and i think Think that it definitely isn't helping with people's mindset of of the game it's like but i will also say that i think this game would be incredible at 125 health 125 health this game would be crazy good are we ever gonna get 125 health probably not i think that's rather unrealistic to think that that's something we may get but the time to kill is a bit quick and i think adding just a little bit more of a sponge would be really really good considering we've been on again 150 health for so long people aren't used to dying as fast as they are but i think once people like like either they'll get used to it or they'll leave. But I think when that ends up being the case, the game will do much better. Just in not in, just not in a the game is ins insanely improved, and more so on okay, this is the health we have, this is the health we used to have. Oh, I found him. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, if it's also not obvious, I'm very much getting still trying to get used to a controller. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I've actually had having more fun playing controller on this game than I am playing keyboard and mouse, I think, on Modern Warfare 3. Not the entire time, because I definitely still had some fun with it, but I also have been very much enjoying playing on a controller on the other games as well. What? Okay, there we go. Another thing I will say is the game feels inconsistent. The game... It feels like uh, sometimes when I'm like, I should be absolutely lasering people. I should be, and then it feels like other times I'm not. So, and I don't know if that's to do with how the game just works, how the game plays, or if that's not a bug in the beta. It feels like my sight will be on somebody, but and it won't move, but I'll be missing an absolute shit ton. And then other times my sight won't really will barely be on them like it'll be like kind of drifting in and out of them but every bullet will can it feels a little weird the hit registration feels a little weird to me but i feel i don't think i haven't heard anyone else complain about that so that might just be a me problem and that i fucking suck something else i really am, am feeling weird about is having the specialties uh this isn't really a complaint i have or a like a bonus i think they're they're good for the game however i do think they're a bit different i don't feel like they make as much of a some of them don't make as much of a benefit as others like i think in Forcer, while yes, you get the move increases to movement and to the health regen and such, I don't feel like they, that may, that is the I feel like that is the least impactful, but it's still good. Um, I think strategist is in, is insane for someone who likes to play domination hardpoint like myself. Um, I think strategist is kind of crazy. That's a kill. People have also said a lot about the movement in the game on how Omni movement is encouraging sweats. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm a super sweat because I'm definitely not, but I don't think the movement is as big of an issue as people are making it out to be. Like the traditional sprint slide that, we, that we've had for a while is still here. You can still make use of it super, super well. You can still do crazy movement and it not result in a kill. It still comes down to the player itself. Just because somebody's like diving backwards and spinning a hundred times doesn't mean they're gonna kill you. I think, think that really catches people off guard. I'm dead, aren't I? I know there's some bugs going on with the snipers and such, where the snipers are struggling to scope in and out properly. They're not. They're basically just bugged to shit with the with quick scoping. So I kind of hope that that gets fixed soon. That's part of the reason why I haven't sniped more. I also am just not the best at sniping on this game. I have quickly learned that. It doesn't feel like sniping at all from Modern Warfare 3 to me. It feels- If I had to pick a, game, a COD game very quickly that this felt like for sniping, Black Ops 1. Um, I'm probably in the minority to say that. One thing I remembered, it was Black Ops 1 was the first Call of Duty I played before I went back to play other titles. Black Ops 1 was very, like, heavy for me. I really, like, it was the first Call of Duty I actually tried to play before going back. I, I just, I don't know, the first Call of Duty I tried to learn to snipe in, and I just didn't enjoy it because I sucked at it. Long story short, I was just awful. And that's what this feels like to me because of the, the way the ADS is, the way that the shooting is and such. Uh, I haven't been able to do anything cool with, like, the movement, but I really want to. Too. The spawns are also fucking like horrendous. The spawns in this map, on not this map, but like in this game, for the most part, are just dreadful. Like I don't know what it is about like hardpoint spawns. I think it's on Derelict, the one with the giant containers. The spawns on that map, they are the hardest thing to move. Sometimes, like I swear. No! So close. These games are going to time limit, though. These games are, like, what, eight minutes? Seven minutes? Something like that? Five minutes? I guess I'll finish, like, I will say one thing I love about the game is the feel. I think 150 health COD has not been the best. I feel like I've been robbed of a lot of kills. And a lot of people sit there and go, oh, if you're bad at aiming, just say so. I'm not the worst at aiming. I'm genuinely, not. holy shit. But I'm not the worst at aiming, but I'm definitely not the best. But I will say, I've had, I feel like I've had a lot of kills or people kill me that I'm like, that person did not deserve to kill me. They just, they just didn't. I don't care what anyone says, no, no. Overall, like, my thoughts, this is my super rough draft thoughts. This is shit, like, that instantly pops to my head. Hey, my overall thoughts of the game, I really fucking like it. I like the way it feels. I like the, uh, like, I like the way the perks are set up because it it feels like, it feels like I'm almost forced to pick between several things. Like, I want to run the strategist specialty in some of my classes, so I had to find a workaround, and I found a workaround that I wish would work a little better, but it's still something to work with, if that makes sense. There we go, we got TDM on this map. I think this should, this will hopefully go to 125 and not 100. I'm gonna try the shotgun. I've only used a couple games of the shotgun, but if it's horrible, then this is the blueprint just as it comes. This is, so this has like a suppressor on it. See, this thing has a massive suppressor on it and stuff like that. I don't even know if it's good because all of my shotgun kills have come from the base shotgun, but if I'm gonna use a shotgun, it's probably gonna be in this mode.
Oh, I didn't want to pick that. Okay. That's another gripe I have. With the... I don't... I will hit square like once or twice thinking I have to reload. That guy sucks ass. Holy shit. But there are a couple tweets I'll make. Like, I don't want to... Every time I hit square, I don't want to pick up a weapon. If I'm trying to pick up an ammo pack, I, I... Like, the last thing I typically want to do as a player is pick up another gun. I typically want to keep the gun I have. If I want to pick up a gun, I wish it would make it more, uh lengthy to switch to pick up the gun rather than just like super quick this guy does not like me trying new things this guy just called me a fucking noob i wish i could talk to people after the game i want they've stopped people chatting and shit after the game it has pissed me off because there are a lot of people who talk shit right before the end of the game and then i can't say shit this guy this guy goes, calls me noob because he was 21 and 22. I went 21 and 17 with the, like, I'm convinced, the worst gun in this beta. The pistols are better than the shotgun. The shotgun is terrible. Also, I will say to the people who are sitting there saying like, oh, it's just a copy and paste. Like, I don't understand how you guys can like it. If you didn't like Cold War, you're not going to like this. If you didn't like Cold War, you're not going to like this. And also, it's a Cold War sequel. It's set in that the same era, set in the fucking, in the same, you know, locations pretty much. With the same, like, operators and characters and everything. Like, I really liked Cold War, so I thought, I think, I'm really gonna like this. My general consensus. What do you think happens when people make fucking sequels? What do you think? What do you think happened with all the Transformers sequels? All the Jurassic Park sequels? All that they're like, it's just reused assets. I'm like, no fucking shit, it's reused assets. Like, that is, like, I'm sorry, if you're complaining about that, you are finding things to bitch about. That's all, all I'm saying. If you're, if you're, you're just finding shit to bitch about, it's ridiculous. Like, I'm not the best Call of Duty player to ever grace the planet. My fucking KD and the way I play says it all. Like, I am not very good. If you guys, I really enjoy this game. And I'm not gonna sit here and dick ride it like there's nothing wrong with it. I know this game's not perfect. This game has a good amount of issues. If you're gonna sit here and one of your complaints is reused assets, any franchise you like that has done more than one in its series has reused assets. I'm sorry, but every Call of Duty game at some point or another has used a lot of assets. Even the things like the glory days, reused assets. We know this. And again, if you're gonna sit there and that's gonna be your bitching point, this franchise isn't for you. No franchise is for you. You're better off playing games that are one-offs. And that is something I genuinely think. And a lot of people are gonna disagree with me. A lot of people are gonna be so bothered by, by that, but it's like, it's true. It's something that I've seen bitched about so much that I just don't understand what the issue is you can bitch about how something is made as long as you get like and give critique that's fine you can bitch about the way something feels and give critique. that's totally fine but if you're gonna sit here and say oh black ops 6 is just a copy and paste of cold war i'm like one it is not a copy paste it's very similar but it's not a copy paste and just at the end of the day if that's all you have to say then you're better off just keeping your mouth shut and fucking off and finding something better to use your energy on